times and just allow your mind to be free so you can be open to something different. Every single statement I will ever say to you will be something powerful and will start with the words, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to another amazing, phenomenal lady. Like this lady has such an amazing story. Every single woman that has come to our sessions each and every day has blessed us with an amazing story. Their life, their journey, their walk, and boy, have they walked the talk and talked the walk. And so today we have with us Miss Regina Newby. And she's going to share with you a story that's going to bless your life. So let's start. I am Regina Newby. I am a very determined, strong, powerful woman when I get up in the morning. I start my day by honestly stating what I am and I call myself um, a Wonder Woman of Hair, but the Wonder Woman stands for so much more in my life and I proudly wear that title, um, Wonder Woman. So that Wonder Woman to you means what exactly? How have you exemplified the role and the title of Wonder Woman? It means, you know, being the best um, wife that I can be, being the best mother that I can be, being the best hairstylist that I can be, being the best friend I can be. It's just being that all around woman, but at the same time still knowing who I am and not losing myself. I have been married to, happily married to my husband for 20 years. We met um, when I was 19 years old. It was a totally blind phone call. Um, I did not know him, had never met him. He called me. We had a mutual friend and it was more so on a dare. He asked our mutual friend, she's cute, but why aren't you with her? What's wrong with her? So our mutual friend said, you know, we're just really good friends and he he said, well, I bet you're not going to call her. And he said, yeah, I'm going to call her. So that's what started the 23-year love story. We've been together ever since. I think my advice to women um, is just you have to like your spouse. Um, don't get like and love um, confused because they're totally different. You have family that you love, but you might not like them as a person. You have to like your spouse because if you don't like them, when the trials and tribulations come, whether it's sickness or financial, if you don't like your spouse, it's going to make it real hard to stay. In 2013, um, my husband was diagnosed with large B-cell lymphoma. Um, that was found out after him being um, sick for six months and doctors did not know why he was losing weight, um, did not know why he was fatigued. He was basically um, fading away every week, um, dropping five, seven pounds. Nobody knew why numerous blood tests. They just could not find out what was going on. And he was referred to a hematologist. And, you know, the hematologist said, I do not like unsolved. He said, you're a 40 year old male, otherwise healthy. And every week you're coming to see me, you're fading. And I've got to find out what's wrong. And I will not be satisfied until I find out what's wrong. So from that point, um, he did, you know, um, various tests and that's when he found out he had large B cell lymphoma and that was, um, you know, he went through treatment, it was successful. And then, um, 2015, the cancer came back, um, which was a shock to kind of both of us, but, um, 
we just knew we had to gear up again. So um, he was the same type cancer. So um, they recommended that he get a bone marrow transplant because his um, cancer was a rare form of cancer and it's kind of um, resistant to chemo. So with the bone marrow, they wanted to totally cure the disease and he just had that um, April of this year. At some point, there may have been a moment where you felt down and out. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell us about that moment. And the moment when you decided that you were getting back up, that is your unstoppable moment. Your I am unstoppable moment. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, I think my unstoppable moment was with the first diagnosis, um, just watching him on a day-to-day -day basis fade away. And I remember sitting in the bathroom and I remember praying, Lord, I don't know what to do. And I do know that I cannot fix it because I do have the type of personality um, because I'm somewhat independent in a lot of things. I tend to um, want to fix everything myself, but I knew that I could not fix that. So I knew that I had to turn to God because he was the only one that could fix it. And I remember praying that, you know, I'm just asking you to heal him because I do not want this love story to end this way. It cannot end this way. And that was my unstoppable moment. I made a decision that I was going to totally focus on his healing, whether I had to work seven days a week um, because I was the only one that was working at the time. He could not. But I knew that in that moment, I had to stay strong for my husband, stay strong for myself and stay strong for my children because the one thing that I want my children to know through that experience is that when trials and situations come up that they don't throw in the towel, that they, you know, put on that armor and get ready to fight because things are going to happen that are out of our control. But you have to be strong and say to the devil, I'm not going out like that. And that was my I am unstoppable moment.